guys, this is Megan from Point and Polish. And today I'm gonna show you how I took a couple of thrifted items and flipped them into this super cute Valentine's Day decor. This video is a collaboration with a bunch of other fabulously creative ladies who are also flipping items that they have thrifted. Every month we'll be doing a thrift flip challenge where we take items that are under $10 and we transform them into something fabulous for our homes. Go check out the playlist to get a lot of other great DIY ideas. I found this wooden sign at a thrift store and it's got a nice saying on it, but it has a lot of scratches and stains. So I thought it would make a good base for a DIY project and it only costs $2.99. I also got this Valentine's Day sign from the thrift store. I actually got it probably like 10 years ago and I've been using it in my house, but it's pretty beat up and worn out. So I thought I would take it apart and see if I can use parts of it to make something cute. First, I started by priming my board with Dixie Belle Boss. I used two coats, and I did the primer because this wood had some knots in it that were already bleeding through to the original finish. I'm pretty sure that's how it ended up in the thrift store because it looked pretty stained. Next, I grabbed some chalk paint. I used Dixie Belle's Drop Cloth. This is a very creamy white color, a pretty base for whatever you're going to be painting. So I chose to do two coats of this and I did spritz it with some water first and throughout just to make the coverage go on more even. This chalk paint has awesome coverage, so two coats was more than enough for what I needed. Next came my favorite part. I grabbed Mud Puddle from Dixie Belle. This is just a soft brown color and I dipped my chip brush into the paint just barely and then I wiped it off so I have barely any paint left on my brush and I did some dry brushing just to add some texture and color to the board. This gives kind of um, a farmhouse feel, that distressed, weathered look. And this is my favorite part because I really just went to town with being creative. I use this color and then you'll see I use several other colors to give it that weathered wood look. I also did a cross hatching technique. You'll see me going up and down and back and forth. That just helps the paint get into all the crevices and imperfections in the board and add to the overall look of the piece. I then grabbed Dixie Belle's Caviar, which is black, and Gravel Road, which is a dark gray. And I went ahead and dry brushed these onto the board as well in certain areas to give it more layers. I also took out just a little bit of Dixie Belle's burlap. I just had a tiny bit left. And this is a lighter, creamier brown color that just gave, again, a little more dimension, a little more color to the piece. So I went ahead and dry brushed that on as well. Lastly, I grabbed my brown wax and a lint-free cloth and I just barely dipped the cloth into the wax and used it to highlight some of the edges and corners where the wood might be more naturally distressed. Okay, now we're ready for some hearts. Next, I grabbed my Valentine's Day sign and I took the hearts off of it. I used pliers and wire cutters. Two of them were easy and one was a little bit harder, um, but I'll actually probably end up using that welcome sign for something else, so I just put it to the side and I used the hearts. Next, I grabbed my Dixie Belle Boss again and I put two coats of the primer on the hearts. Pink and red can be kind of hard to cover up with lighter colors and these hearts had some stripes and some polka dots on them, so I knew I needed some primer to help cover them up before I put my base coat on. Once the hearts were dry, I grabbed a couple of Dixie Belle colors to use as my base colors for the hearts. I chose Drop Cloth, which is that same base color that I had used for the backboard. And then I also chose Tea Rose, which is a real pretty dusty pink. And I actually decided to tone that down a little bit with some of the burlap that I had left over. This just gave it more of a neutral palette, which is what I'm going for in my home.
After I finished mixing my colors, I then painted each of the hearts a different color. I then found these little wooden hearts in my craft stash and I thought they would be cute glued to the middle of the bigger hearts so I painted three of them with the same colors that I used for the bigger hearts. I then took all my hearts and took some time to just plan out exactly where I wanted them to be placed on my board. I wanted them to look like a bunch of heart balloons to go with that Valentine's Day theme so I planned it out before I added any of my glue. I then grabbed a little bit of twine from my craft stash and I used that for the strings of the balloons. This gives a little bit of texture to the piece and it adds to that whole farmhouse look that I'm going for. I also had a little bit of ribbon laying around that just happened to match this perfectly, so I tied it in a bow and used that as well. I then used this mixed media glue that I think I got from Walmart. And the nice thing about this glue is it allows you a little bit of wiggle room before it actually adheres. So you actually put the glue on and then let it set for a minute before you actually put the pieces together. I like it better than hot glue for projects like this because I feel like it adheres better to many different surfaces. The twine and the ribbon were the hardest things to glue down on this project just because they have the smallest surface area. You really just have to hold onto them for a little bit longer and wait until they're fully adhered before you move on to the next step. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's the perfect addition to my Valentine's Day decor and it is quite the transformation from the two items that it started as. Let me know in the comments, how did you like it? Did you learn any tips, tricks, or techniques for your next painting or DIY project? I'd love to hear it. Please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.